Northern Iowa lost a ton of talent from last year's team, but they, uh, they, they've been surprising so far. I think so. They're playing really well. Six-game winning streak. I think the, the game at UNI that Missouri State beat them at the, at the end really set them back for a couple games, but they recovered nicely. And some of their young guys seem to be filling the roles really well right now. Yeah, and you know, it really is just setting up as this just explosion. I mean, it's just the perfect storm of things to happen. They've won six straight. Obviously, the Bears are playing great basketball. You know, the game on Sunday, I mean, it stacks up to be a really great matchup. You know, as intense as JQH Arena was last week for the Creighton game, I think it has every bit the chance to uh, be just as intense, if not more, this week. Northern Iowa's on such a roll, and uh, there's a good history between these teams of close games including last year uh, when you and I came in and handed the Bears their last uh, home court loss. And that was kind of controversial, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. Uh, a hard foul at the end called intentional on Will Creekmore. I know that's a game that the Bears haven't forgotten. And ironically, it was on January 30th of 2010, and of course this week's game on January 30th of 11. Wow. <laughs> um, tell me about uh, Greg McDermott makes the comment uh, Kajo Ahalegba is the best player in the league, and he doesn't even think it's close. What do you think? Well, I, I think the case can be made for him to be, the be, be called the best player in the league. However, uh, to say it's not close, I think, is uh, rather ridiculous. Uh, you, you can judge best players several ways, uh, pure stats or uh, value to a team if you took them away, or best player off the best team. And I, I, think, I think these two guys are clearly separated themselves as the two best players in the league. And if you had to do the balloting right now, I think Weems wins that uh, Player of the Year award, hands down. I agree. Now, as for Weems, you know him pretty well. Um, probably no extra motivation needed, but a comment like that, do you think that that motivates him more? Well, I think he, by human nature, would have to. Uh, I think his teammates are going to be motivated maybe more than Kyle will. But uh, Kyle's been consistent all along and has tried to deflect all the individual stuff says he just wants to hang a banner and that's his major goal. But I would think a guy would be motivated by that, uh, whether he would want to, want to admit it or not. Now, we've kind of discussed it around the newsroom a little bit about what the motivation was, but why do you think Coach McDermott said that? Well, I think a couple of reasons. Uh, first off, the immediacy of the moment. He says it right after Kajo drops 26 points on him in a really an emotional game at UNI. And secondly, I think he feels a connection to that, to that player, having recruited him uh, during his final year at Northern Iowa. So I think those two things, uh, maybe more the uh, immediacy, right, you know, being in the moment after the game more than anything. Do you think, I mean, you haven't talked to him or anything, but do you think that's something that he maybe would say differently, not in that situation? Well, I don't know, but I did get a, uh, a tweet from the Creighton SID immediately after I posted that saying, Remember to keep this in perspective that he said it in the moment and that he recruited him. So uh, try not to blow it out of proportion, but uh, you know it's it's out there for all to see. Okay. Um, one thing that I kind of mentioned last night for the show some Wichita State highlights was, even though the Bears were being chased closely by Wichita State and Northern Iowa, Indiana State kind of an ugly loss last night. Um, should Bears fans be rooting for Wichita State and the top of the league? I think so. I think that the best thing for the Valley and to have an at-large opportunity for more than one team is, for, is to have those two separate themselves from the pack. And if the, the Bears and Wichita can go into that final game of the regular season with, uh, say, 16-1 and 15-2 and, and, 15 and two records, I think that's a good thing for the Valley. And win or lose in St. Louis, I think then they have better cases to have an at-large opportunity if it comes down to that. One last thing, because I'm curious what your thoughts are. I don't think anybody's saying that Missouri State should be in the top 25 right now, but you know, where do you think they stack up nationally with the rest of the country? Well, as a past voter on the AP poll, I, it, it would be hard for me to put them in the top 25 just because of the non-conference schedule. They, they didn't get the job done as far as beating a marquee team. Had a chance to beat Tennessee at Tennessee and didn't quite get it done. As of today, uh, are they a top 25 team? Probably not, but I think if they keep winning, that, that stuff will take care of itself, and, and they'll continue to get more and more votes and more recognition as it goes on.